I decided to show you a few utilities that we use in our work when we're creating mock-ups for clients and also when we're trying to work around issues with CMS systems, um, content management systems or learning management systems and also uh, web pages um, and file sizes. So the first one is Lorem Ipsum and it's a text generator. You can find it at lipsum.com. And when you want to have um, a mock-up, you don't want real text because you don't want the client being distracted and reading something, so you create fake text. And this is a fake text generator. And you can do it by paragraph or words, or if you want to create a list to drop into your page, you could. And then you generate the lorem ipsum, and it will give you however many paragraphs or words or lists that you wanted, and you copy it and paste it into your page. Now I only needed three paragraphs so I'm truncating one of them and that's one of the ways that I determine how much text I need as well. And then I'll create a header and we'll go back over and we'll look. We now need to create an image to drop in there. And so I'm going to go to placebear.com and Placebear creates images to whatever size I designate and it is all images of bears. And again, there's no context or content for the client to get caught up on. There's simply an image. And they, it won't take them very long to realize that every image on the page is an image of a bear. And so we need an image for that left column. And I'm going to look at one that's 400 wide by 500 long and see what it will fit like. And then I simply copy the image and drop it into my mock-up. One thing I like about Placebear is that it creates them so quickly that if I don't like it, it's actually faster to generate than it is to generate one in Photoshop. And if I don't like it, I can always go back and create another one. So I think that's a decent size. And I'm going to go back because I want a header image. And my header is 960 wide, but I'm going to make it go the entire width of the page, even off the margins. And so it's going to be 1024 wide by 100 tall. And there's my bare image for my header. I copy it and paste it in and place it. And I wanted to leave some room up here for navigation and also below it for navigation. And that's why I only made it 100 wide. Another tool that we use quite a bit is called Tiny Ping, and this is uh, a tool that helps when your um, images are too large. Uh, let's say that your LMS says that you have to have your image below 50K, and uh, this also works really well with transparent pings, which can be laid over a color, and so if you have text or you have an image that you want the background to show through, you can actually um, use tiny ping. So there are generators that don't do transparency, but tiny ping will actually allow you to do a transparent um, ping and that can be laid over other things. So I'm going to drag an image onto the box. And you'll see that my original image was 32K. My new image is 14K. It's just 56% that it saved me in file size. And the image is actually a transparent ping, so it will be able to display over any other image, and the background will show through. We'll try it one more time. This is also a transparent ping. And the original image you can see was 18, 18K, and our uh, new image is only 6K. I saved 60%. Now, one thing I really like about Tiny Ping as opposed to some of the other programs is that the image quality is pretty much identical to what your original is going to be. When you're ready, then you can just download your images and uh, use them in your um, LMS or your CMS. A uh, similar product is TinyURL. So we just worked with getting file sizes down. TinyURL helps us get the length of the URL down. So let's say that you're on a page and it's an incredibly long uh, URL. And where this comes into play is either when the URL is actually going to create a hyperlink in the background of your page. Um, sometimes those long URLs will actually create space in between the lines on the front end. And so your text could can be a little bit wider, um, more space between it, because you've got this URL sticking in the background and it's forcing the text down. It's very difficult to get rid of. So in this regard, I go ahead and paste the long URL in my um, window, and I say make a tiny URL. And the next thing I know, here's my little, much, much smaller URL. And I can copy it to the clipboard, 
and it'll tell me when it's copied and then I'll show you um, I always test mine I type in or paste in my tiny URL it's taking me to Kindle keyboard 3G I go back and I grab my lengthy extremely lengthy URL and paste it in and sure enough voila it takes me to Kindle keyboard 3G and I always test them I've never had it fail but I test them anyway because I don't want to have the end user or my client find a mistake if it's gonna create a mistake now a final utility that we use quite a bit is for large files so let's say for example I want to send a document to my client um, that's over a gig um, in size or I want to send the entire LMS I want to download it so they can see everything and it's uh, larger than my email will allow me to send via email and there's not very many sites or um, services that will allow you to send large files we transfer for free you can send up to two gigs and the way that you do it is just simply click the add files and we'll just click this one and then you tell who you want it to go to and I'm going to send it to myself and you tell who you're sending from and I've already used it use the software so it puts in my email address and then you can even send a message this is the file I click transfer and it tells me how long I have now large files will take time and it generally will tell you how much time to expect it definitely t gives you a bar that tells you how long um, how far you are into the transfer once the transfer is complete the person that you sent it to and you yourself will receive an email with a link in it to the file for download so it's a really really handy tool and um, all of these make the uh, file creation work and there's my notice telling me that the um, files are delivered um, it's a really these are really handy tools for helping to create mock-ups for the client and also to navigate some of the issues with the file sizes and um, uh, image sizes that you might run into. I hope this has been helpful and I appreciate your time.